Welcome to dear viewers to the small animation. Back then they didn't have weapons like we have today, kind of like guns or bombs. No. They had the good stuff in life like swords and bows and arrows. Which with this brief conversation we just had about weapons segues us in today's subject. Ancient Chinese weapons. The swords. Well, everyone's familiar with the sword from my knowledge. So basically, you stab and slash with it. So it's a pretty basic weapon. The bill hook. So just like the sword, the bill hook will also slash and but wait, I have to explain something first before we get into the next part. Notice how the name has the word hook in it. That's when when you stab the target, you're going to have a fun time getting your sword out of the target. The bow family. So basically what you do is basically shoot the target. Same thing with the crossbow. You shoot it, but let me explain something. Now back then, they didn't have all the crazy stuff we have nowadays. So that basically means... So since back then, the crossbows weren't made of metal, the crossbow and the bow were sort of, kind of, equal, I guess. Actually, not much, but kind of. Nowadays... The bow depends on the person's strength, and the crossbow kind of just fires by itself. The Ceremonial Axe. So back then, the Ceremonial Axe was used for sacrifices. You know, to please the gods and all. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The long-ranged weapons family. So basically, these two long-ranged weapons would equal basically a sword. The spear used for stabbing, and the halberd is used for slashing. So yeah, those two weapons would basically equal a sword. And that would be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed Please hit the like button, subscribe, and stay notified with the notification bell. Also, don't forget about fan art. I have none, as you can obviously tell here. Goodbye. Ain't I glad I got the fourth closet all to myself? Am I right, guys?